All right, my PC guys, these are the best settings when recording in OBS. You wanna come over to your settings, go to output, and if you don't see what I see, you need to switch your output mode from simple to advanced so you get all your settings. In the first tab, you're gonna see the recording path. This is where your videos are gonna get saved after you're done recording. In recording format, you wanna go ahead and change this to MKV. Saving it in this format means that if your power were to go out during your recording, you could still recover this file without it getting corrupted. In order to remux, you will just go up to file after you're done recording, go to remux recording, select the recording, click the remux button, and this will save it as an MP4 file. For video encoder, you wanna go ahead and use the NVIDIA NVENC H264 encoder. This is if you have a NVIDIA's graphic card. If you have an AMD, you want to use that version of the graphics as the encoder. Always use your graphics card, don't use the CPU. For audio encoder, you wanna go ahead and leave this as default, the FF MPEG AAC. In the audio track settings, this is where you're going to select which audio tracks you want to record. So say if you want five audio tracks, you wanna come down to your audio settings down here in your audio mixer, hit the three dots and go to advanced audio properties. Move this thing out so you can see the tracks here and this is where you're going to save the different audio tracks. So because I pick five, I'm gonna have five tracks. Three of them are gonna be empty because I only have two tracks here, but in the recording, it's gonna record my Agato Wave on one track track one, and then it's gonna record my gameplay on track two. So when you throw it into the edit editor, you will have five tracks, but two, three will be blank, and those two will be separate with your audio on one track and your game on the other. Rescale output, you wanna leave this on disabled. Coming down to encoder settings, you wanna go ahead and change your rate control to CQP. CQP stands for constant quantization parameter. This just means it adjusts your bit rate based on the complexity of the video, and it prioritizes your quality over constant bit rate. This is better for recorded videos instead of streaming with CBR. It's good to have a constant bit rate because when you're streaming, you want to push a constant stream and not have it fluctuate. This does result in higher file sizes. So down in CQ level, you want to go ahead and leave this on 20 and just test it out for yourself. The lower you go on this level, like say 16, the better the quality, but I wouldn't go any lower than 16 as the file sizes get really big. So test this out between 16 and 20 and see what looks good to you. For keyframe intervals, you want to go ahead and set this to two seconds. This is so that you get the highest quality during your fast paced movement in your game. This is the standard pretty much in the industry. For me personally, I like to set my preset at P6 for my computer. The lower you go, the worse the quality, but the more performance you're going to get out of your computer. The higher you go at P7 is the best quality possible, but it may be too much for your computer, just depending on what your computer is. So just work your way down from P7 to P5 five P4 and see what works best for you. You want to leave your tuning at high quality and your multi-pass mode should be on two passes. You could do quarter resolution or full re resolution depending on your computer's power. Profile should be on high and you should go ahead and check psycho visual tuning. Again, this is really good in case there's a lot of high movement on your screen. Your GPU number should be at zero and your B frame should be at two. Go ahead and hit apply and those should be the best settings for your recording. Now, if you want the best settings for your PC for streaming, go ahead and check out this video over here and I'll see you over there.